Hello, hi YouTube. This is Kai Turner. Today I'm going to show you how to catch all 40 fish in Fortnite. Um, a lot of people have challenges they're trying to do or they just want to have their index complete. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First things first, you want to go into your, uh, your game lobby and you want to go to Battle Lab. Why Battle Lab? Well, you're going to figure it out pretty soon. But you want to click Battle Lab, go to play. And before you create, um, create uh, Battle Lab, you want to go to Match Options. The location is irrelevant. Um, you want to put both of these in full, fall damage off, and time of day, super important, put this at night. After you set all those things, you just want to accept it and then go to launch. Now, there are so many rare fish that you literally would not be able to find unless you, um, you know, have a guide to show you. So this is going to be that guide and I'm going to have one continuous take. So that way you can see everything you need to do, all the places you need to go to and to find the things that you need to find. Now, first things first, you're going to want to land in a location that has, I'd say a lot of, um, a lot of things you can get and also a fishing rod because you can pretty much find everything else you're going to need to find um anywhere like materials are plentiful because you're, you're in battle lab so just get 9.99 of everything or it's, it's or as high as you want to get i mean i guess you could say but you're gonna you're only gonna need actually a hundred of each so after you get a hundred then you want to go to an upgrade station there are plenty on the map and i'll actually probably link you in the description a um a guide for where you can find all the upgrade stations but i happen to know this one right here so you upgrade your fishing rod upgrading your fishing rod is the only thing you actually need to do here now let's go to the fish and find out what we're looking at here so now what you want to do is you want to go to the left one you want to click the fish and as you can see i have all of the fish actually i forgot to get number 30 uh, you, you're right on that one but i'm gonna get number 30 right now just for you guys so let me explain how this works for the fish you have some that require pro fishing rod some that require nighttime and plenty that require certain areas but we're going to go over all of them just so you can see. And if you want the quick guide, I'm going to give you two right now. All of them in order. So you can pause the video at any point. So you can see the fish that you need to find. And if you notice, there's so many that have different uh, areas. Even this one, it will tell you where it is. Because I actually... Um, I was just about to catch that one. Number 40 is not in the game yet, or it's the Midas or Mythic fish. So very, almost nobody's going to have that one. It's completely luck based, whatever the number 40 is. But for the fish that we do know, so let's, let's go over the different fish. So if it requires pro fishing rod, you have the pro fishing rod, as you can see. So... You can find you can catch literally every fish in the game. Now people have asked, what's the difference between the pro fishing rod and the normal fishing rod? Some people say what well, helps you catch fish faster. Some people say it helps you catch um, rare fish. Now the rare fish one is actually true. There are certain fish that can only be caught with the pro fishing rod. But in an actual game, if you're trying to like play for, I guess, um, what's the right word to put? If you're playing competitively or you're just trying to like, you know, like actually win the game, these are just variants of other fish that already exist. They're variants of drift fish or spicy fish. So they don't give you any added benefit to get the the rare variant. You know what I mean? So don't, you know, don't upgrade to the pro fishing rod just to get that. Because the only fish that you can't get in the game that doesn't, that is not like a normal fish that you can already get with the normal fishing rod is the number one which is the vendetta flopper and for the competitive advantage for that fish it's not really worth it to get it so don't spend the whole game trying to get a vendetta flopper it's truly not worth it
Now, if you notice, we're fishing, we're, we're catching things. And you want to use these fishing holes. So that that's the that's the key. If, in case you didn't notice that, what these allow you to do is to actually find fish more often and, and rare uh, variants of those fish. Because you can you can also find these fish in anywhere, like you know, like say over here. But it's going to be a lot more uh, trash catches, which is like literally like small fry things like that. So with these these fishing holes you actually have a really good chance of catching rare fish. And since you use a pro fishing rod, it just seems like it's just a nice, seamless, fast transition. Okay, so that's a black surf fish for you right there. Now let's go catch the, 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 the 30th fish that we have to catch. So let's, for instance, say you have to catch um, a fish that is in the... Swamp areas, okay. So this is where I wanted to actually show you guys where we're talking about. So here's the areas. The many thing that says mountainous areas means anything in this light green section of the map here. Anything in there. Now some people will tell you, oh, you can only go to places that are in Lazy Lake. Or you can only go to places that are right here. Or you can only go to this one stream right here. All that information is totally incorrect. I have caught thousands of fish. I have all the achievements on the punch card. Anything in this light green area counts as mountainous area. Anything. Now, places where I found the most fish, I will agree, happens to be like this little stream right here and this section right here. But you can also definitely find them right here in this little one right here and even going down this little lake right here. So if you want good chances, just, just search anywhere in here, up Lazy Lake, or down here. That's all the mountainous areas. Swamp areas, pretty obvious. Anything in this little swamp section right here. I think the cutoff is literally the bridge. So anything in this big swamp area is swamp. And the forest area is anything in this area. And there's actually two fishing holes, one right here and one right, right here. Those are also good. So anything in this section right here is considered uh, forest area now the last one is coastal areas and you might say where's the coast area some people can say well you can catch fish here wouldn't advise that because it's not technically a coast right so coastal areas is anything literally on this coast anything on this coast anything up here along the coastline it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory if it's on the coast it counts as a coastline but best places to, to do fishing there is for anything on this side. Because that's coast and is not affected by anything else. Like I wouldn't want to coast down here because it's also a mountain area. So tend to stick with this area. So now that you know all of the different areas, let's go over it. So swamp area, you know where that is. Mountainous areas, you know where that is. Now there are certain fish that have double criteria such as Coast areas at night. This is why you want to do nighttime because now you have a chance of catching a black slurp, which is this guy right here. The reason why is because, well, it's nighttime already and you're going on a coastal area. And this is why I want to show him as an example because it's an excellent example of where the nighttime plays in. There's no fish that I can think of that have a daytime requirement. But a, but a couple of fish have nighttime requirements. So there's no reason why not to just turn on nighttime, catch all the fish. And there's a few fish. I think only three fish in a game that have a triple requirement, which is, well, three things. You got to catch this only in swamp areas, found at night, and it requires a pro fishing rod. This was a very hard fish to catch. And I, as, you can, as you can see, I only caught one of them. So you definitely want to uh, focus on these fish and... You know, like like catch them when you when you when you get them, and as you can see, like most fish I caught multiple times. You know, some even like like crazy amount of time, fifty eight. So yeah, let's go catch this fish right here just to show you an example of how long certain fish take to catch. Forest areas, no other requirements. Okay, so we know that the forest areas is anything within this, and I actually did the. 
I did the catching by myself and I had to reset because I already did the, you know, I ran out of fishing spots, I guess you could say. So, so this just shows that, yeah, it, it, it definitely takes a little bit. But I mean, I've caught a lot of fish very fast. So it only should take about a good three, four hours in, in Battle Lab for you to catch all these fish. I caught all of them in about two hours. So every fish you can catch really fast. As long as you use Pro Fishing Rod, you go to the areas that I told you to, and just don't don't sweat it. Go to the, the cir fishing circles and catch a line there. And you should be good. All right, so let's get into a vehicle and let's get down there. Okay, okay, that one's good. That one's already done. I think there's a helicopter somewhere over here. Or is it? No, oh, I think it's a boat near the, near the docks. There's a truck over here too, but I forget where it is. Yeah, definitely a truck here somewhere. Upgrade station. Okay, a little, little rainbow fish there. It's a truck. Yeah, once you got that objective and you're just like, I just need that one fish, this is going to be a good guy to, to get that. Because for, for the longest, I had like 40 fish that I had to catch. First, I had to catch all 40. Then I got it down to 10. And when I was catching the last 10, when I would try to catch one fish, I would actually catch another fish. Which was perfect, so <laughs> you, you you're gonna do that a lot because there's only really four place requirements that the fish can be, so it's not that hard to figure out. Like, well, you know, if I'm looking for one fish in a mountain area, I might catch another fish in a mountain area, or if I'm looking for one fish on a coastline, I might catch another fish on a coastline. So it's really easy to 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 catch fish that you're not even trying to catch. You, you're gonna do that a lot, especially when you start out. Which is perfect for you because I mean, it helps you to get to that end goal faster. Oh, okay, okay, staying on. I'm just trying to catch the last fish so I can uh, I can do that. I wish I had recorded the 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 previous video where I was catching all the fish. I mean, that would have made a lot more sense, but I figured. There's a lot of llamas here too. I figured that most people wouldn't want to watch a three hour video of somebody fishing and catching all the, the fish. But now that I, in retrospect, it's probably um it's probably pretty entertaining actually. <laughs> You're seeing somebody catch all the first the fish for the first time. Versus this video, I'm just like showing you how to get to one area and catch one fish. Okay, so all of this is forest area, as you can see from the map. Like I said before, anything pretty much in this zone is forest area. I like to go just slightly below that. Because, I mean, even though there's forest here, I want to go a little bit below that. This may technically count, but I want to go definitely more down. Oh, and... <laughs> what do you know, Vendetta Flopper? I literally just caught the rarest fish right here. That's how it looks. Like, and and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's crazy that you can you can fish and just and you find the fish that you're not looking for all the time. Seriously. Let's see what else we got. And you could do this in a game too, but um, I think for the purposes of this video, if like you really just want to catch all the fish, it's way better to do it in battle laps so you don't have any distractions. You got nighttime always. So it's way easier to get the ones you're looking for. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. Green thermal fish. So 
you've seen it personally here so that you know that I know what I'm talking about. You see me catch all the rarest fish literally in one video. So that boom, green thermal fish. So literally every fish is caught. And I already showed you where every fish is. This is it again for the recap. And there's so many, there's so many fish that take a long time to catch. But for the most part, you, if you go to the right area at the right time, you're going to catch the right fish. And that was just a live showing that the area is the real important thing. If you know where the area is, that's another rare fish right there. The coho. So let me give you the recap of the area again, just in case somebody was uh, not paying attention. So this is the full map. Coast areas, anything on the coastline. It's exactly what the name says. If it's on the coast, if it's and got sand around it, then it's it's there. That's coast. For the swamp, it's anything down here in the swamp area. And for the forest areas, anything within this region. For the mountain, it's anything within this light green region. Anything within that. So, so this area counts, this big lake counts, this thing counts here, right here. And those are the three, uh, four different areas that you can find fish. And then nighttime is also a requirement. And remember to upgrade your pro fishing rod, your fishing rod to a pro fishing rod, and to always do it within these little fishing hole circles. And if you follow all of those tips, I guarantee you that you can catch literally any fish in the game, even the Midas. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or Fortnite tips or things that you want to see in Fortnite, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have an excellent day.